learning how to find that reality, you might say, to locate it, to find the North Star within ourselves, that point of being, that sun, seems to me one of the most worthwhile things a person could do. It's a little more difficult than the sun up in the sky. You just have to look up to see that. To find the North Star, I think a little study is probably helpful. You could find a, a map of the heavens, map of the constellations and all. And you, you, with a little study and a little observation, you could find the North Star. Finding that point of light and orientation, that being of light, that is the focus of orientation for all that brings our, our awareness of all of the heavens, but which is specifically available to us, that takes a little more work, it seems to me, being invisible. And we have to use our spiritual perception. We have to use that openness of heart and use the heart as a tool of spiritual perception so that we touch the vibration of love and we trace it back. We're not looking through a sextant. No, we're using the instrument of the heart to find that source of love and that being of love. And having tuned in, getting, getting the hang of that, found it, it recognized the vibration of it, the vibration of the highest love. Oh, there it is. There's the Christ. Not the Christ of religion. Not simply a man who came on earth 2,000 years ago. There's the focus of love and being. And Knowing that source and knowing that vibration, we know we have it to give. And when faced with the very great needs of the people around us, we know we have that love, that love that transcends us as a, simply a human being. We feel the elevation of our stature and our beingness we know that we have light to give. We have love to give. The power of that love and the power of that light and its power to fill the spiritual needs of the world in which we live. Now, we're not going to do that all by ourselves and not suggesting that we try. But we have something to give that is needed. And what is the full measure of that gift that we have to give? Well, as we've been speaking of it, it is simply the, the overflowing cup, <laughs> not the exhausted cup, not the emptied cup, but simply the overflowing cup, the overflow of, of our energy of love and light that we have to give ultimately with the possibility that someone else might tune in to that same reality for themselves and find that they too have it to give, that their cup could be filled to overflowing.